Here comes the launch. Let's see. Outside of the tunnels, and it's pretty much a dead even heap. However, Team Gravity wins the exchange, and look at how quickly the disc ends up right next to the Kangorilla's goal line. Great stuff from Gravity. Now they've got to sink the actual goal, though, and we can see we can see Sealable Bag is making that a very, oh, very tough effort to be able heavy to do lifting. that. That was very heavy lifting by Sealable Bag as he jumps between all of them, taking it from them and knocking them out. More players trying to move back in, trying to keep the pressure on against Kangorillas here. It's Team Gravity, like I said before, now needs to win both of these rounds back to back. They cannot drop anymore, but they will be eliminated from the tournament here. And they pitch it back downfield. I thought, if it, I thought for sure they were going to get a nice mail slot shot from the other side of the arena, but didn't work out. But it doesn't matter. Leverage a good position with the lateral. We're in the third. Also going over to the side of this one. You can see Loveridge getting punched out there. That is going to lead to the disc going free. Only gets stuck right in the middle of the map, though. Neither team having possession of it. Battle changed relatively quickly. Team Gravity picking it up. They're racing over towards the goalpost. Nobody to defend it, but it's a miss. That should have been a free three-pointer, but it's not going to happen. What a shame, as that could have given Team Gravity an amazing lead to start this one off. They could have definitely used it. They've already burned a minute 10 off the clock with absolutely nobody scoring. Now Kangaroo is looking to reset this back up, finding their opportunity to clear a pass over towards Sealable Bag. Going to try to send it further down over towards a teammate again. That's going to be that's going to be Loveridge picking it up for himself. Still not able to get past that middle point just yet. Haven't found a pass that can work for them. Here we go. Now they're over here in Team Gravity's territory, taking it further upfield, further towards the goalpost. However, again, have to pass over towards Loveridge. He's got the ability to sink it, and there we go. It's going to be Loveridge from the Kangaroos finally scoring the first goal. About a minute and a half into the game, and, and they will take the lead. Still not doubling up. I saw them form up for a little bit to gain some momentum. One of them blocked his head. I wonder if that's why they're stopping them from doubling up, because I noticed we saw that earlier. The teams that double up, they end up with a double hit on you. It's done two of your characters for the price of one. So I wonder if that, that had spooked them a little bit and decided they were going to stop forming up. I'm not entirely sure. I did see that Viatrex was able to block that shot to his head, but it wasn't able to get over to his goal in time to help his team stop the, shot, the attack. There's the launch from the blue team. They end up moving out. Nice pass as well. That's going to end up going right over there towards VR Jersey. He picks it up, but no, actually intercepted by another member of Kangorilla's Loveridge. Instead, picks it up for himself. Now over to Broom. And right back over to Loveridge again. Passing it back and forth between each other so they can get it further up the field. A great shot. Oh, it would have been amazing if that was heading towards the Diamonds. Not going to happen, though. So that gives Team Gravity plenty of time to get back. Resecure. Oh, today, resecure. There we go. They punch out Loveridge. Just going to let them take this back towards the mid. No, but Loveridge is coming up with a vengeance. He just knocked out. The other players over here took out Martin the third. A bounce is actually going to send it back over towards the blue side of the arena. It's going to be more trouble for Team Gravity here if they don't manage to hold it together. The Viatrex retrieved control of it, though. Passes it over to oh. VR Jersey, but he missed the pass. Thankfully, A rare miss for the team. They used to be so good at passing. I think they still are going to be able to maintain control at the very least. They get that going. Now moving in on the goalie. The slingshot's coming back in from the Kangorillas, however. They've got a lot of speed moving in, but it doesn't matter. Viatrex sinks it, and we tie it up at 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but it looked like he put his full body through for that one. Definitely. We are tied almost exactly halfway point through the match, too. Very, very close so far here. It's Team Gravity that needs to shoot out, push ahead. It's the Kangorillas are the ones with the series advantage right now. The launch is going to come back out. Kangorillas will get early possession as a result of the goal scored by Team Gravity. Here we go. The launch gates are open. Moving it forward, they actually have the two-man team launch to start it off to pick it up. They don't need to use the usual quarterback. It's only going to be Grumpiest Broom on his own that gets it originally. Trying to swipe through the arena again. Remember, not going to be able to move as quickly with that disc in hand. Gets the pass off over to his teammate. Nice little juke off the ceiling Ooh. and a beautiful pickup by Sealable Bag to slam it in. And score another point here for the Kangorillas. Another thing to keep in mind is these guys started this day off very, very early. And they've been playing somewhere between seven to nine hours today. So as the day lets on, people are going to get more tired. And you can watch this play and actually feel how tired the plays are here. Those of you who do not know much about VR eSports, it does take it out of you. It is physically taxing and mentally taxing. You have to bring both of those to the game to do it. And it's very hard to hold up for these double elimination games because they do take a lot of time. Absolutely. It's definitely a test of not only the mental skill of these players, their technical skill in the game, but their physical skill, how far they can actually push their bodies and keep them a tip-top shape to be able to react as quickly as they've been doing earlier on in the day. Once again, the volley's begun. We're under the two-minute mark here now, so they'll be running low on time, but Team Gravity's got the pressure right now on Kang on the Kangorillas. He's got them closed in on their two-point bubble. They really need this score. Unless they're going to run down the clock and try to get a three-point at the last second. Do it. Sending it over to a teammate. They don't have the position just yet. That is yet. a bad pass. Back down to another one. 
and the goalie will finally pick it up and clear it out for the Kangarillas. He was not open. I was thinking they would go for that verticality pass they did before, where they shoot it straight down and then right back up for a dunk, but Ooh. did not work out. Steel will get a long shot. Ooh. Ooh. Almost snuck in there off the diamond. I've seen so many close shots from really far away on the diamond, but none have really been connecting. There's another one right there coming in for the Kangarillas. If they can make this 6-2, to two, that's going to be another massive advantage for them and might as well seal the deal. But Team Gravity pushing it back. They're going to try to launch themselves, but Kangarillas is definitely going to beat them there by at least three or four seconds. They had some trouble picking up the disc, though, so it's not going to be as clean of an extraction as they wanted to to take this back over here towards the midfield. And Team Gravity is responding in kind by falling back themselves, too. I feel like that's how you need to prep in the future for regionals and your uh, world finals, is that you need to practice playing 10-hour days. You're just used to being exhausted. <laughs> Play for 10-hour days, only eat breakfast, and see who uh, and get your body used to being able to handle that kind of activity, and then you'll have a leg up on the competition. Crumpiest broom and lone... Loveridge trying to sneak back in here for the goal, and it's going to be Loveridge again sinking it. This is not looking good at all for Team Gravity. They've been brought down to under a minute now. They will get position going into the possession. Excuse me, going into the next round, but they've scored. The Kangaroos. This is they've scored yet another two pointer right in their faces, and it's set it up at six to two. Now Team Gravity needs at least two more goals to be able to win this game. Yeah, it's definitely coming down to Kangaroos Town. They already have that first win, so if they get this second one. That is it for Team Gravity, and that is Kane Gorillas into the money match. Absolutely. So that's going to put you, by winning this one, that will guarantee you a spot in the top three at the very least. And with one more win, you'll be in the top two. And well, one more, you'll be top one. 20K for you if you manage to make it all the way to the top one position. Nice little bounce out there from Grumpy's Broom. Picks up the disc from the backside. Stops the bank goal from coming in on Team Gravity here. Yeah, he had all day. All you got to do is run the clock down, and they are pushed into the next match. Absolutely. Sending it back down over here towards the midfield. Mart the third gets possession of it, however. Oh, there's a nice punch that comes back in from sealable bag, but it's not quick enough as he seals out, as he throws away the possession before it goes away. And yep, time pretty much run out. Oh, almost a nice little goal coming out there for the Kangaroos again, but misses its shot. Regardless, though, they'll still be able to take control 6-2, to two, and with that, they will take control of this series as well in a 2-0 fashion, and that's going to be an unfortunate end of Team Gravity. I would have hoped they would have been able to bring that play style, but it just seems like they were 